said his grandmother was, was uh, I'm looking for him. And then they were so interested, and so he interviewed me the other Oh, day. yes, so you've been talking a lot about so he brought his tape recorder. First, he wanted me to come over uh -huh. to school. <laughs> I said, no, I don't think I could do that. I don't go much, because my eyes aren't too good, and I don't go around alone much. Uh -huh. Well, my son, because I work at the museum, my both my son and daughter volunteered me to come in to speak to their classes. Oh, they so oh, they I do. went in and talked to them about the Erie Canal, and I had a good time with the kids. You look remarkably wonderful, Frey. Ninety years old? Right. Oh, gosh, I hope I look half as good. <laughs> you look like about 50 or 60. I can't believe it. I would never say you were 90 years old. Well, I can't believe it myself, but I am. <laughs> Why? She really does, yes, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Now, this uh, museum, that uh, I've never been down there. We're right in downtown Syracuse on Erie Boulevard, and we just got finished spending $400,000 to fix up the place. And what happens is that it's our museum is housed in what's called the Waylock Building. Yeah, well, that's where we used to come be when we were in Syracuse. Right, you're right there. Right, and we were weighed. Way in that boat. Okay. Yeah, so you stuff. remember being weighed in that Waylock building? No. Well, I don't remember that. I didn't pay much attention mm -hmm. to that. Yeah. I never did in Syracuse. Mm -hmm. I don't remember much about that. <laughs> well, anyway, we've preserved that building, and now what we've done is fill it with, you know, Erie Canal artifacts and pieces from our collection. We also built a 65-foot-long canal boat. Well, that must be the kind that we were on then. Well, there were all I've different. I've never been able to uh, see a, good, a picture like we. They call you know the packets or right. the, something like that. And that well, they weren't the ones. No, because that was a passenger boat. Yeah, yeah. Yours was a working boat, right. really. Yeah. Well, there were all kinds of canal boats, but you had a place. Did you store your mules or horses yes. right on board? Yes. Okay, Same so beyond. you had a cargo area for the horses, and then you had a, another shed kind of thing for your living Yeah, space, we had one right? and way to one end was our cabin mm -hmm. where we lived, mm -hmm. and way to the other end was the stable for the mules, mm -hmm. where they stayed. Now, did you have mules? Yes. Okay. How many mules did you carry in the stable? Do you there remember? Was, there were four, because mm -hmm. they had to change. Right. You know, I, I think every eight hours. Mm -hmm. um, who who took care of the mules? Who drove the mules on the towpath? Did you have a brother? We had or two drivers. You had two drivers. Yes, you had the, the we. My father was the more. You know, he he and his father own boat the boats. Mm -hmm. So he they had to hire the drivers and mm -hmm. then my father steered. He was captain one shift. Mm -hmm. And then we had to have another one for the other other shift. Mm -hmm. They didn't stop. They went twenty four hours a oh, day. Oh they went twenty four hours, okay. Okay, let me back up at the beginning and just get like the brief Biographical stuff. You were born on a canal boat, right, mm -hmm. Florence? Eighteen ninety-six. And it was February first. First, eighteen ninety-six. Okay, what was the name of the canal boat? Do you know that? Did I you have a no, name? That's what he asked me, didn't he, Billy? And I don't know what the name, but they did have names, but I don't remember. Mm-hmm. I can remember other names of tugs and things that was in New York City, mm -hmm. you know, in the harbor there. Mm -hmm. But I cannot remember the names of those boats. Oh, well, that's 
Okay, <laughs> you were pretty little then, I would say. Yes, I we, we were little. Now, you lived on that canal boat from 1896 till you were, what, seven years old? About you said? seven. And then we had to move for sure because I had to go to school. Right. Because my sister was younger. Mm -hmm. But I was the one that had to, to go, get going in school. Now, what happened to your... Did your father still run the canal boat then, and you and your mom and your family well, lived to be sure? No, he went with us, but he was always connected somehow with the boats. Mm -hmm. Tug captain, the tugs, or he worked um, for the state of New York, uh, you know, a captain of a tug, and uh, he was always connected somehow with the water anyway. Mm -hmm. What was your father's name? Charles Hegel, H-E-A-G-L-E. I don't know how my mother ever managed. <laughs> I don't know. How many children were there in the family? Well, we, she, we had three, mm -hmm. my brother, but as soon as he was old enough, he stayed, at, uh, you know, with an aunt mm -hmm. and um, went to school. Oh. But he was with us summers, mm -hmm. and I don't know where she put us all. <laughs> I don't know. It was pretty small, that cabin? Well, we had just two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And we had a, a room, a big room, and, um, and then we had a small room where my mother did all the cooking and baking and everything. She had to feed all those men. Right. Where did the men stay? I, we had two boats. And oh. I think they stayed in, uh, on the other boat. Oh, okay. We, you see, we carried grain back and forth. And you went from one, what city to what city? Kind of we went to Buffalo and New York. So you picked up the grain in Buffalo and took it down to New York to City? New York. But I don't know what we always had some something we brought back to Syracuse. Mm -hmm. But what a, I don't know where there is there any place around Syracuse ever that where they had a grain elevator or anything like that. I don't know offhand. There might have been. I don't know, but I know we used to get weighed mm -hmm. in in there at the weigh lock because I heard him talk about it. Okay. Um, what was your mother's name? Margaret. And your sister and brother's name? My sister was, um, my brother was the oldest, his name was Howard. Mm -hmm. And my other, my sister was Ellen. Mm -hmm. And your sister was younger than you and your brother was older than yes. you, right? Right. Now the fun part, just tell me whatever kinds of things that you remember, like what was life like when you were living on the canal boat? What kinds of things did you see? Um, any famous people that you might have met? Um, that sort of thing. Well, I was tell, just telling my daughter, I said, I don't know. I know there were other people mm -hmm. on boats too. Mm -hmm. But I said, I don't know, I can't seem to remember their names at all. Oh, it's, <laughs> you know, I don't think. It's so long ago. Yes. And, uh, but we, you know, we went, um, whatever there was to see along the canal, I don't know, we, and we didn't miss much, I'll tell you. <laughs> we used to see about everything. And when my brother was with us in the summer, he'd get off. And we make him pick the fl wild flowers for us mm -hmm. along the way. Mm -hmm. And then we used to go through um, 
a good many locks, you know. Right. And that um, the ones I remember most of all were at the Little Falls. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we had 16 locks to go through. And we, my sister and I get off. And we got locked out in the first one up even so we could get off. Mm -hmm. Why then we'd, we'd run along and play along and and dam up all the rocks along the, the big <laughs> rocks and water running out and we'd put stones all there thinking we'd stop the water. Uh -huh. And then we'd look and the boat would be up ahead and we'd run, catch up with it. And then when we got to the last lock, then mm -hmm. we'd get back on again. So we looked forward to that because we could get off, mm -hmm. you know, and run around. Right. And it must not have been too much room to run around. No, there wasn't. Mm -hmm. much. We Did had a, our cabin where it was flat, so and we'd go up there and play. Mm -hmm. And of course, in the summertime, we had an awning. Mm -hmm. And we'd take our toys up there and play. And we had to be quiet because my father was sleeping. Oh. But you see, he was on, he was steering the boats at night. Mm -hmm. So we had to be real quiet. That's what my mother used to say. She didn't know what she'd do today if, if she had to keep keep us quiet because children are not more noisy, I guess, than we were. Yeah, they more used to. I don't know. They they need to be entertained. I think an awful lot. Yeah. yeah see, we managed to entertain ourselves. What kind of games did you play? Well, we had all the things with dolls and mm -hmm. dolls and dishes and uh, and stove and all those things, mm -hmm. you know, for the little girls. Had. Right, right. But I don't remember too much about games. Uh huh. I don't know. Maybe they didn't have any then. I don't know. No, I didn't know if there were a particular song maybe that you sang or anything like that that you could remember. My father used to. <coughs> play the accordion. Mm -hmm. So we'd get in, in the winter when there wasn't so much to do. Mm -hmm. Because wherever the boats were, when it started to freeze, we would have to stay there. Mm -hmm. And so we had to stay. That's why we were in Syracuse that winter. Oh, okay. We froze in, that's what they said, mm -hmm. called it. Right. And then one, one winter, I remember, we were in New York all winter mm -hmm. and my mother used to take us uptown mm -hmm. in new york and we had we rolled on the elevated you know that way back then oh yeah and we, we the street cars were drawn by horses mm -hmm. i remember that mm -hmm. but getting back to locks every lock had beautiful flowers Mm -hmm. flower beds and oh, they, they right. soon found out how much we liked flowers so every time we ever we went through the locks they always the lock tender would always pick a big bouquet for us and if we went through in the night it, he'd get the, he'd give my father the flowers oh so we, we he they knew us knew our bullets and everything mm -hmm. So we'd get up in the morning, we'd have the big bouquet of flowers. Mm. Things like that, you know, mm -hmm. that, that I can remember, that I, we just enjoyed. And then when we were in, the, in New York waiting for our, to be loaded at the elevator, why every morning the excursion boats would go down to uh, Coney Island. Mm -hmm. And when they did, our boats would rock so from the big swells, you know. Uh -huh. and so my sister and I, we'd run and jump on the bed and hang on. Uh -huh. You know, we weren't afraid, but we we didn't like that rock and back and forth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have known my mother to be maybe getting a meal. Oh gosh! At, at night, when they came along, they come back back up every night. Mm -hmm. I, and we had to keep the water pail in the corner on a shelf and that's tipped over sometimes and when uh, all over 
put the fire out and uh, probably ruined her meal, whatever she was fixing. Mm. So I, we didn't like it too well, and she just dreaded that. Now she cooked in a stove. Yeah, we yeah. had a cook stove. Cook stove. Okay. Here's an interesting question that we don't know much about. Now, where were your bathroom facilities? You had like a commode someplace, yes. or you know, yes. a specific spot. That's right. We didn't have any. Uh, that was a, was a, one of the bad things about it. Mm -hmm. Was these commodes, and of course they had to be emptied mm -hmm. right in the canal. Mm -hmm. Right. And that that wasn't so good. And then of course we had to stop certain. Where we'd come to some place, we, they'd have to pull in and get supplies on. Mm -hmm. There were this stores key. along. Right. So you bought your things you would need for cooking yeah. along the way. Yeah, yeah. and our food. Mm -hmm. Did nice. they have toilet paper back then? I don't think so. No, no I don't know what we did. You was probably the catalogs. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if we even had those. And never any paper napkins or paper towels or anything. Mm -hmm. We didn't have any of mine. We just had um, cloth napkins. Mm -hmm. That's all. We haven't been able to find out what, if anything, was used like as today's modern toilet paper. What was the I, like I 19th don't know what century? They did have yeah, for a substitute, mm -hmm. must have something. Yeah, you see, if my mother was only alive, I could, you know, yeah. know, I could find out so much more. But I haven't ever given much thought to it mm -hmm. until lately. They've been asking me questions and things. They're talking about it more. Well, there's such a a really big interest now in the Erie Canal, in canals in general. Yeah. Uh, so I guess that's sort of provoking more and more interest. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, we're trying to do things like this, to go out and speak to people that remember it, or people that built the Barge Canal, and, and that sort of thing, so that we'll have this, you know, written down. Yes. Part of our history that <coughs> ordinarily w might be lost. Obviously, not everyone sits down and writes books about their experiences and no, you know, I sort never. Of thing. I'd like to get a book on the whole history of the Erie Canal. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I would bring back some things. Oh, I'm to sure. my memory, but now as it is, I can't think sometimes. Oh well, it's real hard to remember. I mean, I have a hard time remembering sometimes what happened five years ago. <laughs> to go back eighty years ago has got to be pretty you know, amazing. I see my mother lived to be eighty. She would have been ninety, mm -hmm. you know, if she had lived. To from January till May. Mm -hmm. So if she was living, of course she would tell them all lots of things right. that I don't even remember. What did you do in the winter when you were frozen in a particular town? Did you go to school? No, or did your brother never went to school? You never went while to school? We lived on the, okay. Until we got what did your school. dad do? Well, like yeah. what did you do for money and that sort of thing in the winter? That's what I was trying to think of the other day. Mm -hmm. He didn't do have too much to do. Sometimes we had the the boats. I know one winter we had a load. We brought back a load of coal for somebody. Mm -hmm. And you know, at night, you see there were hatches. Mm -hmm. Is that the way these pictures are that you have? Mm -hmm. The ones that. Um, the, we where the mules were the, the ones drawn by mules, they would come up to a peak. Mm -hmm. And you know they used to come down and steal coal. Oh. So my my father had to keep close watch. Because uh -huh. I remember hearing him tell about that. And my mother didn't want him to go out 
because he could tell if they were out there doing something. Mm -hmm. and they'd bring bags and they'd open those hatches and they'd take coal. Oh, and I don't know where we were supposed to bring that load mm -hmm. of coal. Are you saying that the hatches were came to a point? They came like right to a peak, those okay. did. Well then later, the last years, probably the last three anyway, we, my father transferred from the, those boats onto the steam, mm -hmm. steam canal boat, and then the, they were drawn by, a, by steam. Mm -hmm. One of the boats, you know, in the engine room had, had this, we were, we, anyway, we had steam that time, mm -hmm. and then the hatches were flat. Mm -hmm. Those were, on those boats, I remember that. And we went to, um, one time we went way down Long Island Sound, and we brought back a load of sand. Mm -hmm. Well then my sister and I had a big time playing in that sand because my father would open up the hatch and let us play oh. in it. Mm -hmm. Were we bringing Just the little sand? simple yeah. things with, that amused us. That, well, of course, today little children like sand. Yeah, bikes. sand's a big thing for kids. Do you know where you're bringing that sand to? You were bringing it up from Long Island? Yeah, we went to what they call Eaton's Neck down on Long Island mm -hmm. South. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we brought that back to um, probably somewhere in New York, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know where. All I remember is when we went for the, the grain. Mm -hmm. Cause we docked there and I remember those big elevators. Oh yeah. That they put that come down and put that grain with all of it down in the bowl. Yeah, how did they do that? Um, did they have like a chute kind of thing that fed it into the hatch of the boat or? Yeah, they called it a leg like. Mm -hmm. That's what they called it. It was a great big thing. And that would go right down so that in, into the, the, well they called it the midship. Mm -hmm. That's what they called yeah, it. Yeah, the hatch. cargo hold kind yeah. of area. Mm -hmm. Okay. I forgot to tell Billy, do you remember what it was? I don't know what you mean. Well, I thought afterwards I could have told him that, and I don't know what it was. Because he took his tape recorder to school mm -hmm. and played it yesterday, I think. Gosh, you've been talking up a storm. Yes, I said to Mamma, well, I'll be glad when the Erie Canal thing was ended. And I said to Dawn, today, how'd that get started anyway with you? And she said, well, I called. Right, she did. Dawn and she, called, and oh. I answered the call. And I've been put in charge of this oral history project. She and just says, well, I thought it was just great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They all do, and her husband, they're so interested. Oh, she was wishing that they could be here today and have a tape, their tape recorder. Uh-huh. I said, well, I can, you had it once, I thought. Mm-hmm. They did, they brought it. So anyway, I don't know anything else what you'd like to know. So in the wintertime then, it was just sort of a, a relaxing kind of time. Yes. And your dad just probably did like boat repairs and that sort of thing? Yeah, he, he was busy around. But in the evening, of course, he didn't have to work. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to, my sister and I, and we used to get him to play the accordion. Mm -hmm. And I would tell him, man, when they, he used to play a song called, um, I was at Sweet Teddy Wells, and today there is somebody by that name, isn't there? In Nashville. Hmm. Teddy Wells. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was just a song then. Mm hmm Well, there is a lady by that name. Yeah. We thought that was good when he played uh -huh. for us. And then we used to sing songs, and 
together and I can't remember one song on me. Sweet Rosie O'Grady. <laughs> uh-huh. That was an old song. Was your father in partnership with anyone, was it? In the beginning, yes, mm -hmm. he was with his father. Mm -hmm. But he finally, uh, I guess, sold out mm -hmm. to my father. And he didn't, he gave up voting. Mm -hmm. He didn't. But my father always kind of mm -hmm. clung to the votes. Mm -hmm. So your father must have worked on the barge canal then? Yes, he did. And he was a tugboat captain on the yeah, barge canal? Yeah, we did them. See that we we when we left the boats we lived mm -hmm. in Gordon. Mm -hmm. That's where where they were my people. Mm -hmm. That was their home. Mm -hmm. So that's where we lived. Well, the barge canal came right through Gordon. Right. And uh, then um, he was tug captain. Mm -hmm. Then they transferred the company that that he worked for. They went to Fairport. Mm -hmm. And he went, we went right and we moved up there. We rented our house and moved to Fairport. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the company's name that he worked for? I mean, oh, the one, there was, I think, two. It was Kerbal. Kerbal was one of the names. I think there was another man that was with him. But I remember him mm -hmm. real well. Mm -hmm. And did your father ever tell any interesting stories about being a tugboat captain or? Yes, he would tell quite a bit about it, but my mother got tired of listening. <laughs> <laughs> and she used to say, well, he's going to be boating again. <laughs> And when he'd start talking about it with some somebody. And of course, they were interested, but she'd heard it so much, she, she didn't care about it. Mm hmm So would he be gone for days at a time and then come back, or? He used to be away most, not, not when we lived in, um, in Georgia. Mm -hmm. When he worked there, he was home. Mm -hmm. And then when we went to Fairport, he was home. Oh, that's good. But when he worked for the state of New York mm -hmm. as tug captain, he'd be gone the week. Mm -hmm. Then he'd be home just on the weekend. And where did you live when he was tug captain for the state of New York? Was that, did we you lived stay? right there in Gordon. We Georgia. had our own home mm -hmm. back then. So, when he got off um, he the Erie Abbey. Canal and became a tugboat captain, that's when you moved to Brewerton. And he was working for a private company then? And the last place he worked for was the state of New York? Is yeah. that how he did? He worked for this private company, then you guys moved back to Burton, and he worked for the Barge Canal, yeah. the state of New York. Okay. Of course, we, um, he had to retire from that because his eyes, his, he didn't dare to work any longer. Mm -hmm. He retired early because he had cataracts, and he was sort of afraid that, you know, he might not be able to see as good as he Mm -hmm. should. Mm -hmm. So he gave it up and he, he retired. Did he miss it? Being on the boats? Well, yes, at first he did. Mm -hmm. Of course, in the meantime, my brother died with the um, kind of over for that awful flu that oh. they had in, after World War One, mm -hmm. And then of course, my sister and I, we got married, so they were alone. Mm -hmm. So, your brother never went into, like, boating himself? He wasn't old enough? He died when he was 27. Oh. And he was a, an engineer. He went, uh, he just loved um, boats mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. And he, he was a, um, 
what kind of an engineer, not marine. What is it? I'm tons of things. He just loved boats. Mm -hmm. When he was with us one time, we were in New York. Mm -hmm. Should have said that first. Oh, that's and okay. we were next to the largest ship afloat at that time, the Kaiser Wilhelm oh. the second. Mm -hmm. And we were right next to that ship. And we could have all went on it at mm -hmm. the time. And my brother did. He mm -hmm. got up, the, up on that ship. It was way up there waving to us. And, and one time he got on a tugboat and they pretty near took him out to sea. Oh, he God. was there in the engine room, you know, to, he was always so interested. And he did become a good, my, he, he was engineer for my father and when he, in, on the Barge Canal. And then he died at, with that awful mm. pain in 27. He was just ready to go to, um, on a big tug, of, it, there were ocean going tugs. Mm. And he was, mm -hmm. they were putting this tug together and balling himself mm -hmm. when he was taken sick. Was there a shipyard in Baldwinsville at the time that they would have built that tugboat there? Well, there was the ship. There was a place there where they were building this ship, mm -hmm. this tug. It mm -hmm. wasn't a ship; it was a tug tugboat. Boat, right. But, you know, the towed. Right. Like they did us mm -hmm. when we would um, make up a tow and we'd come run through the locks in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Then we'd make up a big tow, and the big tug would to go down the Hudson mm -hmm. into New York. Mm -hmm. Did you know that when they tied canal boats together, they called that a hoodle dasher? And then boats were tied together? Two or more, bo two or more canal boats tied together is called a hoodle dasher. Supposedly no, that was a canal term. That. Can you think of any funny kind of words that were canal terms? No, but I was trying to think what they meant when my, my little grandson, they wanted to know something about the aqueduct. Oh, right. Well, I remember the word. Mm -hmm. Now, what was that? An aqueduct is a bridge that would carry the canal over an existing river or stream. So if there was a big river right in the pathway of the canal, they would build this wooden bridge. And the water for the canal would actually be in that bridge, and the canal boat would sail right across that. You know, the wheels would pull them across. So it was a water carrying bridge. It's a real funny concept. But I remember lots of bridges. Oh we yeah. Went under, but I don't remember that, but I remember hearing that word. Did you used to have to do the uh, low bridge everybody down kind of idea? Yes, I remember low bridge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Line two boats. Mm-hmm. And that's when we, we were on those. Mm-hmm. They call them a hosser. Oh. Line. It's a rope. Mm -hmm. A hosser. A hosser. Okay. What is that? A the H O O S I I E R, I guess. Mm hmm I uh, was looking through some old slides. Um, sometimes we make slides of old photographs and that kind of thing. And there was one of a boy riding the tow line. Did you ever hear of anything like that? Like he was right in the canal and it was like, as the canal boat was being towed, he was holding onto the tow line and like taking a ride with it, which I thought was sort of a neat kind of thing. Well, you mean the mules were? The mules were up on the tow yeah, path. Yeah, draw with a and, big line. And yeah, they, and, and they, the line was like a little bit in the water and as the boat moved along, he was holding onto the tow line so he would move along with it. It's a wonder my brother didn't do that, but I don't remember that he did. Did your mom ever, uh, to keep you, did she worry about you falling overboard in the water? Did she ever tie a rope around you? No. No? No, but she used to say, I don't know what I do today, you know, with, with any children, but we didn't know any different. Mm -hmm. And we knew, you know, if we got too near mm -hmm. the deck, and they were wide deck. Of course, we didn't go on that much. Only when we were lying in, in mm -hmm. port, and we knew better somehow than to go anywhere near. 
So basically, you would stay in the cabin unless the boat was We stayed in there, or else it was warm. You would go up on the roof. You'd go upstairs up yeah. and play up on the, the top of the deck. And the that's when you'd have to duck down if it was a Yes. And you yeah. really would have to do that. Yes, you did. We did. Mm -hmm. We had a head of those of those low bridges. Mm -hmm. And that's where my brother used to get back on. <laughs> when he was, we used to get him off picking flowers. Uh huh. <laughs> what color were your boats painted? Do you remember that? No, that's what Bill. That's one Billy asked me. I could not remember. Because they were painted every color, from what we understand. You know. There might be a pink one, there might no, be a brown one, that, you know. I think we ours was sort of a gray color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were painted. Mm -hmm. And there were some names on the boats, and right. I can't think what they were. Did you see boats of different colors, though? Do you remember a lot of different colored boats? Or you really I don't remember them, any of those bright colors. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Uh-huh. Hmm. Of course, probably if I'd been older, yeah, I could remember a lot more. Well, also they might not have been the most common. Most common might have been a, you know, a weathered kind of gray, and maybe just some people, you know, would do real brightly colored kinds of things. When you were anchored, well, of course you ran 24 hours a day, so you never really had much time to spend in towns along the way. Not on the way, no. No, we didn't. I was wondering if you remembered any kind of entertainment or, you know, what you did like. When we have spare time now, we watch TV or we go to we the movies. Have, we didn't have TV, of course, or radio, anything like that. Right. So we didn't have any music. Mm -hmm. Only just, so I'd say, my father played mm -hmm. the Zicarian. Uh -huh. And that's all the music we ever had. Do you remember any books that were like floating libraries where you could get books from? Or no, I like don't that? think they had those either. No. Nothing like that. Did you used to see a lot of boats going by? You know, did it seem like the canal was pretty busy or was it not too busy? When it wasn't were? so busy. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. during the night they might have passed. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I, they didn't seem to be so busy. Um, when your father was being steersman of the boat or anything, did he wear any sort of special hat or use a, a horn or a shell to signal the lock tender at all? No, he just had the regular captain's hat, you mm -hmm. know. And how did he let the lock tender know he was coming, especially at night? Well, I don't know. How did they signal They that? always seemed to know when mm -hmm. the boats were coming. Mm -hmm. There must have been some kind of a signal or something. Mm -hmm. Did your mom hang laundry out? Yeah, she would have, yeah. She would have yeah. lines up on the deck. And I was trying to think the other day, I wonder where she fastened them. Yeah. They had to be up higher than the cabin. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they passed them, but I remember she used to have her washing in poles, pole poles. Uh. They must have rigged up something. Yeah, I would say so. What See, kind of beds did you sleep on? Well, they were sort of like bunk beds, mm -hmm. full size. Oh. They were up higher away from the floor mm -hmm. and then there were some drawers built and then the room there you could like put a trunk and things mm -hmm. storage space underneath did they fold up during the day or no no okay. uh, they were stationary the um first bullets the mules i think went down a step Mm -hmm. into the bedroom, one bed here and over here. But they steamed, they were even, mm -hmm. right with, with the room. Mm -hmm. right. Now, did you live on a steam canal boat too, or did you just live on the ones We lived mules? on the boat that they, they would, instead of mules, the steamboat would draw. 
right. our goals. Right. Did you live on down both? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So you lived on both kinds. Both the kind kinds. with the mules and the steamboat. Mm -hmm. Which did you both. like better? Skiing. Yeah, why? We liked that better because uh, it was, we thought it was went faster, it was awful slow moving with those mules. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we liked it better because we, my mother didn't have to feed those drivers. And um, probably we just had one extra man for the, to help for the steer the boat. Yeah. Um, do you remember what the mule drivers were like? Were they Irish? Were they young? Were they boys? Were they orphans? You know, they were they were older men, mm -hmm. older men, and uh, well, I guess they some of them were kind of didn't look too great. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't, and they had to, of course, they had to take care of the mules. Mm -hmm. and they odor wasn't too good when they'd be around because <laughs> they'd be around those mules all about all the time yeah driving and then taking care of them and feeding them and they used to get big sores on them oh did they the mules or the, the mules oh, man. from the lines you know mm -hmm. and they'd have to take care of those too yeah. Did women ever work on the canal that you can remember? Do you remember any women captains or no. steersmen or anything no. like that? No, women didn't used to mm -hmm. do much. We're all, they had enough to do mm -hmm. to, you know, do the cooking like that. They, we, I don't remember of any women doing anything like that. How about black men? No, we didn't have black. We weren't have any. You never used to see many black people. I don't. I never remember seeing any. I know we never had any. Mm -hmm. It's always interesting to find out if people like black people or if women were working and that kind of thing. Like during the Civil War, what we're trying to do right now is find out if women maybe did run canal boats when the men were out fighting, oh. that kind of thing, you know, where you had like Rosie the Riveter during the World Wars, you know, where the women actually went into oh, factories. They might have been, I don't know. Yeah. No, it's just interesting. That's why, that's my reason for asking that question is just to try to find out what kind of people. Do you remember? Um, talk about like the Irish being drunken louts or you know no. that kind of we thing. We have an Irish man, Tom English his name, and he was Irish, very nice man. We had him on, I mean he's the only one I can remember. Mm -hmm. He always liked us and, mm -hmm. and my sister and I and the, was he a steersman or a mule yes. driver steersman? What kind of meals did you eat? Oh, we had real good meals. My mother had a lot of cooking to do them. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have awful pan like we always had meat. Meat and potatoes and vegetables and she baked pies and cakes and puddings. But was a lot of fancy things. Mm -hmm. And she used to make candy for us. On, we used to make um, chocolate drops. I remember that. We thought that was quite a treat. <laughs> and we, uh, and Taffy, and Poet, she used to make that. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have things like they do today mm -hmm. in ice cream. When we were going down the Hudson River, coming in or going into New York at Poughkeepsie, a boat used to come out, mm -hmm. come up alongside of our boats, and they always had ice cream. And But we had to get a dish, my father would get a dish, and get ice cream. And that was really a treat. Oh, yeah. And now, 
well, if you ask them, would you like some ice cream? Well, what kind? <laughs> and they've got to ask. <laughs> Take your order, right? <laughs> we were. Is you know, it briars? Yeah, it was the cheese. <laughs> yeah, they got all the brand now and everything. Yeah, we were satisfied to get any. Mm-hmm. Because we didn't have it. So this particular boat, like, sold ice cream, you think, then? Yes, this little boat came out. Mm -hmm. And they had other things on it, too. Oh, know, but yeah. But I remember most of all the ice cream. Did they make it? Well, they brought it from Poughkeepsie. Mm -hmm. so, you know, they bought it probably. They didn't. Would you often, like, stop and buy? Well, you know, would boats often come along selling things? No. No? That's the only That's place. That's the only one you remember. When we were in the toll going down the Hudson River. Mm-hmm. Hmm. We like that. Oh, I can imagine. Because, you know, it's so pretty. It's nice with all the lights. And mm -hmm. we thought that was nice when they'd come out and off. And, and we'd leave New York at night sometimes mm -hmm. to come back. And, of course, all the little things that amused us with. Today they wouldn't pay any attention, but that we thought was great to see all those lights. Mm -hmm. They come on and off, and we'd watch that. Mm -hmm. Things like that we we really enjoyed. And when we were in Buffalo, one time mm -hmm. we went to the Pan American Exposition when it was held there, mm -hmm. when President McKinley was shot. Oh gosh. We remember, I remember talking about it, what, like, how they shot the president. Mm -hmm. I think I was about four years old then. Mm -hmm. hmm. It must have been the same kind of thing like when Kennedy was shot and yes. everybody sort of remembered. Like everybody was were. talking about it. Mm -hmm. And we we went there on the um from our boat, we went on the streetcar over to Buffalo. Mm -hmm. We were in Buffalo, but I mean over to out of the exposition uh -huh. grounds, just like our state fair grounds. What kind of things did they have at that exposition? More like agricultural? Yes, they had lots of, oh, they had everything. Mm -hmm. Just like they do. Mm -hmm. they, they had a lot of things that probably they didn't have a lot of things that they do at the state fair, I, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I don't remember much about it when we got there. But we were always just like to go. Any place to go, we went. Uh-huh. You remember anything about Syracuse besides its way walk? That's what I say. It's funny. I don't. I know where the Erie Boulevard was the Erie Canal. Mm -hmm. We went all the way along, mm -hmm. right down through. Um, we went through Fayetteville and Landis, you know, those old buildings that are still there. Oh, yeah. Well, I remember those. They were there then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're still there. <laughs> I remember that right along Canastola and mm -hmm. all the way down. I remember, of course, we always looked. Mm -hmm. We saw the different houses and stores and things. Mm -hmm. and we'd get everything on, everything in that we could before we left. Uh -huh. I don't know where they traded in Syracuse, where they bought things. There, was, there weren't any stores around that way lot. Mm -hmm. Must have to stop somewhere else. Hmm. Uh, what did you do? Did you have any refrigeration at all? On board the ship? Just ice. Mm -hmm. They had to keep ice. Have you never heard of such a thing? Mm -hmm. As a refrigerator. Right. So what kind of meat did you eat? I guess about the same. They had about the same meat mm -hmm. as we do today. Pork and beef and... and um, my mother used to make vegetable soup and all things like that. Mm -hmm. Wild dinners with corned beef, mm -hmm. corned beef and cabbage. And the men all like that. Mm -hmm. What did you drink? 
Well, just water, I guess. And of course, the, the grown-ups, they brought them. They had tea and coffee. We didn't, we didn't have any. And milk, all the milk we could use was condensed. Oh, okay. You know, that um, in cans, what's the, what is it, they still got it. Evaporated? We, no, we didn't have that. We didn't have the, the evaporated. We had the kind that's thick and sweetened. Oh, that would be that condensed. Uh, that's expensive now to buy. Yeah, well, we had that. And we liked it, mm -hmm. to, to eat that. But that's the kind of milk we had. They had ginger beer? Do you remember any ginger beer? I don't even remember any of those. Mm -hmm. Any soda or anything like that. Did you, uh, would you load up drinking water in barrels on? Yeah, big the barrels. Okay. We have to re stop and refill those at different places. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have to learn all those places along where to pull in places. They knew all that, mm -hmm. all those things that we would need. That was probably the fun part, was stopping and, and then we had this big, like a big ice box. Mm -hmm. And that's where, the, and that was ice all in there. And that's where they had to keep the meat and things in there. Big cover on it. Mm -hmm. was kind of not the living the way it is today, I don't know. The young people today, if they had to live like that, because they complain, they've got everything. Were you glad to uh, get off the boat and live in a regular town? No. No? Did you miss it? We liked it. Mm -hmm. And my mother did too. Oh. As I, you know, as unhandy as things were and everything. She really didn't want to, she'd rather stay. It was me that had to get off and, mm -hmm. and go to school. And of course, they didn't have to go like early, like they do at about five today. I never went to um, mm -hmm. kindergarten, of course. I never went. Mm -hmm. Started right in first grade. Would somebody have tried to chase you down to say, how come you don't have that little girl in school? You know, did they? No, they didn't see me. They didn't. We just, my, my parents just figured, you know, they wanted. Mm -hmm. They thought we should get to going with, uh, that I should. Mm -hmm. Of course, my sister didn't have to go yet. Mm -hmm. She wasn't as old. Did you go to high school, too? In Fairport. Mm -hmm. So you went to what, Brewerton School in Brewerton? Went the elementary to school? And then we went to Fairport. Then went to high school mm -hmm. up there. So you had a high school degree then, diploma? No, I didn't even I didn't graduate from mm -hmm. high school. I I decided that um, I wanted I made up my mind I wanted to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I wanted things, and um, and so I went. I got a job, went to work. When I didn't finish school. Mm -hmm. When? What year were you? How old were you when you went to work? I was about sixteen. And what was your first job? I worked in it where they made all fancy uh, women's underwear. Uh, like they used to wear so much and lace and should run ribbon through it and it was a it was in Fairport there and I got a job right there and my father uh, he didn't like it and, and my teacher came down and thought it was terrible that I didn't go back to school but I never liked it mm -hmm. after I left Burton I, did, I didn't like it up there I didn't like go to school there. So, or 
probably wouldn't have, would have stayed if I'd stayed at, at home. Mm -hmm. And when did you get married? Well, about the next year. I got married when I was 17. I met my husband up there, and that was Madeline's father. Mm -hmm. And we and I, we, I had two children, my son and the neighbor. Mm -hmm. What did your husband do? He wasn't connected with the canal or anything in no. any way, right? No, he didn't know anything about that. Mm -hmm. And then so you never really were around the water much after that then? No, I never was. Mm -hmm. No. Just my father and my brother mm -hmm. stuck to the tugboats and things, but I, I never did. I never thought much about it anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, just lately, all this came out, you know. I, I've just forgotten all about it, like, mm -hmm. I had a whole new life then. Mm -hmm. When I got off of the boats, everything was different. Did you ever swim in the canal? What was that? Did you ever go swimming in the canal? No. Was it considered too dirty to... I was going to say, I don't think that they did mm -hmm. swim in the canal, but too dirty. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the water as being dirty, too? Uh, yes, because there's so much stuff. You could see it floating along. Mm -hmm. and, but when the barge canal went through, it was cleaner, I think, when they mm -hmm. dug it and all out. And I think the water was much cleaner then, and they used to go swimming, mm -hmm. probably in that. I know they did not fair for it. Mm -hmm. They went swimming. You've got a great memory, Florence. Yes, you yep, you sure do. Well, I wish I could be. I wish I could remember more, because I know there's probably lots of things that I should remember that I, I just sort of forgotten. When you said that one time you were tied up against the largest ship in the world at the time, you said the Kaiser Wilhelm was the second largest. Or was that the name the, of it? That was the name. That okay. was the name. Kaiser Wilhelm II. The second. The second. Oh, okay. At that time, it was the largest mm -hmm. ship afloat. Mm -hmm. And we could have, all of us, went went on it. Mm -hmm. You know, went all the way through. Mm -hmm. But um, we didn't, because, you know, you had to climb up there. Because mm -hmm. we were down here, and that was way up here. Mm -hmm. But my brother did. <laughs> Oh. He got up there. <laughs> was that a luxury boat or a... Yes. Beautiful boat. Mm -hmm. Was he? He was German, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something about... Yes, he was. High official in, yeah. in, the Ger in Germany, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Kaiser was. Yeah. That was sort of like their president. Yes. Kind of idea, Kaiser. Well, I told them, Billy, I didn't think maybe it was enough things to really... Oh, I think it was really good. I'm, I'm just trying to think of what other questions I might like to ask you. Do you have any pictures from the time period or any letters or um, any bill of sales or anything from nothing. your father's canal boat? No, nothing. I don't have a, any pictures. And I've never seen any. Hmm. Now, we went down to um, near Rome. Oh, the Erie Canal there. Village. Went to that. And we looked, that building has all these pictures of, of all kinds of boats. And I didn't see one like we were on. Mm -hmm. It's not, not the same, but maybe this one you spoke of. Yeah. I'll have to see if I can find a picture of the kind that I'm talking about. I might have a slide of it, but I don't know if I have a photo. I'll try to find one for you. Now, what, uh, 
What hours? You can go down there, can't you? There, it's open Tuesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you can go down every day but Monday. Because I spoke about it to Dawn. And then, where is that? It's on Erie Boulevard. Um, it's right across from City Hall in Syracuse. So it's really, you know, it's pretty convenient. Once you you'll notice that it's a, a reddish brick building. At the time it wasn't red though, I don't think. Oh no. Oh. That building. It might have been painted like white or gray. Oh, when we, when, when we were there, it was, see that why it was a way light. Now they, what does that do? Include they weigh. I know they weighed the boats. That's what they did, and that's where they used to charge. They need the weight of the boat to charge a toll for the cargo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they weighed the boats, how did you get into the Waylock building? How did you get in there? Did you float in, and then mules pulled the boat out, or do you remember any of that? I remember how they got in the route. Mm-hmm. See, but. It, well, I was just born then, so it was yeah. quite a long time. But we must have always came. I don't know if we always came to Syracuse after that or what. I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Well, I just wondered, there were, there were seven waylocks along the Erie Canal. Yeah. So you could have sort of stopped at any one any of those. Of so that's why I was just wondering. There's always been a question mark how the boats got in and out of the waylock building. And I didn't See, know if you a remember. Shame I, had. I didn't say my father or mother. Oh yeah. If they were only here, they could tell, tell well, you everything. That's why I I tape recorded like my grandmother, because she came from Europe and landed at Ellis Island and all of that. And I just thought, if nothing else, it would be nice to have that history in I our family. I remember that place, Ellis Island, mm -hmm. when we were in New York. Course, right. All those things. Mm -hmm. We had to go from the dock when we wanted to go uptown, we called it. We had to go on the ferry mm -hmm. across the river to, and then get off there and, and go up to uptown. Mm -hmm. and then come back on it. Mm -hmm. Until the, where we got off where our boats were. Do you remember any floating museums or any vaudeville shows? Or I don't remember. I know we time. never went. <clears throat> we never went to any, but they must have had shows in New York City. What you said you remember um, other people that had canal boats. Do you remember some of their names? No, I can't remember a name. I mean, you certain there were a lot of boats that, that would make up this big toll going into Mm -hmm. to going down the Hudson River mm -hmm. and and the people that were on the steam they lived down there too see they owned it mm -hmm. they owned that and my father just worked for them mm -hmm. he didn't own those boats mm -hmm. and we used to be over there with those people but I can't think of their name they were just lovely people. Mm -hmm. And then one winter, we froze in our boats at Fort Plain. Mm -hmm. Did you ever hear of that place? I've heard of Fort Plain, yes. I've got some slides of it. Mm -hmm. Well, we froze in, and there was a hotel uh, right on the other side. And mm -hmm. we used to be over there. And that's the very first time I ever saw a um, flush toilet. <laughs> and it was a chain, you know, a big mm -hmm. chain thing coming that you pulled. And I thought, oh, such an awful thing as that. But we used to be over there a lot. Mm -hmm. They they liked, they liked to have us. They were nice. And now I can't even think of their name. Did you eat there? Yes, we used to see you over there. We were, we were over there an awful lot. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how much things used to cost back then? Like how much? You I don't know if they had loaves of bread that you can buy, but you know, how oh, much? Oh, well, I know they were much, much cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, everything.
everything was. Eggs, yes, we had eggs. And when you ask me about food, yeah, I'm sure we had eggs and bacon and things like that. Probably my mother made pancakes and. Mm -hmm. Did she bake her own bread? Yes, she had to bake. Yeah. We, we didn't. Uh, you never used to be able to buy bread. Yes, she baked all her own bread. We've gotten spoiled. <laughs> well, I used to bake bread when you were little. But I've forgotten all how, I wouldn't know how to do it anymore. Oh, it's too bad. Yeah. But <laughs> I had, I liked it. I had good luck with it. Well, Ford, you gave me a lot of material. Now what I'm you glad. Know? You don't do anything. Well, um, what I would like to do is that we have a newsletter um, at the museum called the Canal Packet that comes out four times a year. So what I might do is write a little story about what you told me and put it in there, and I will send it to you mm -hmm. so you can see that. And what I'm also going to do is I will give this tape to my secretary and what we'll do is we'll type up a write-up of what you told us and that